This is my 520D BMW M Sport 2016 with 70,000 miles on the clock. I'm just doing a quick walk around because there's so much to talk about with the car. But the front, we've got the front M Sport um, splitter with the upgraded um, M Sport kidney grills with the <laughs> M Sport logo. We've got the under there, in the centre of there, we've got the um, wrapped yellow um, sway bars that go along with the, um, sort of the paint scheme of the um, the brakes. Real nice touch. But when these, um, when you start the car, these open. You can see that when you're driving along. Paintwork of the car is unbelievable. It's been mopped and cared for for the last two years of ownership by myself. It's an unbelievable standard. I'm really, really proud of the paintwork. The only slight imperfection is these stone chips down here, if you can see, which I just didn't have the chance to mop out. Um, I made it before I sell it, I'm not sure. Wheels of the car, you've got the upgraded M Sport, I think they're the M40 wheels, um, with the painted yellow calipers, painted side skirts, M5 um, uh, covers for the door mirrors, as well as sequential um, uh, turning signals, which I think you might be able to, there you go, like the Audi, so an indication all the rest of it. Again, paintwork absolutely amazing, down the side tinted windows all round, heat team Hecos on there as well. I've added the black M Sport spoiler on the back, which I didn't want the duck build one, I just wanted the lip spoiler. And then we've also got the quad exhaust tipped from DKU Performance, Wolverhampton, which is the cat back. Um, it is a diesel, so it's mo only for aesthetics really. And I've got the M5 um, um, diffuser on the back as well, which I love, makes it really, really mean. You've also got the wheel, amazing condition. No curbs on them whatsoever. Slight bit of diamond cut um, wear, as normally with diamond cut finishes, but I think you'd be able to see that there. So there you go. I would get them redone um, for the next owner. Um, but again, I've got a bit of OCD, so I'll be me. Inside the cockpit is an amazing place. Really well looked to. Got carbon fibre wrapped with a few sort of essential styling things added. Um, you've got carbon fibre on the door seals. Getting inside the car. <laughs> so one of the main big features of the car I updated is not only did I carbon wrap it, including the red sports button, carbon fibre all over, including the centre console and the door seals. I've got the M Sport light under the door as well, so that shines out on the floor when it's dark. But I've also, the biggest mod I added was, it, this came with the smaller screen. And for me, I do a lot of motorway miles. Um, but I only motorway miles to work and back as a commuter because I've got a motorbike on the weekends. But I wanted to update the centre console to something, not just the bigger BMW one, but a more sophisticated one. So I upgraded it to the brand new Windows 10. Um, Android spec which cost me around about 800 quid plus installation. Now this is a touch screen um, head unit with the actual uh, BMW uh, UE, so the user interface, UI sorry, user interface in the background as well so you can flick back and between because I didn't want to lose the service history I've got from my main dealers so it loads and comes through to the um, Android screen so you've got navigation which I've got set to Waze but you can have that to Google Maps or whatever you want to have it as it's all controlled as well from the central I drive here but you can touch screen as well if need be but I don't like leaving finger marks on the screen communication you've got Bluetooth you've got um, this music is from the hard drive stored in here um, that down. girlfriend's music and then you've got video as well so I've got the grand tour on here um, again, it goes on widescreen, which is amazing. I wouldn't recommend, and I don't endorse uh, watching that whilst driving as well. And um, that can be turned off if you don't want to watch it, be able to watch it while driving. It can be turned off in the system as well. Um, the dashboard as well, my favourite feature when I'm going around. This can be colour coded and all the rest of it. Ah, how do I do it now? Oh, there you go. So you can change the settings or whatever you want, and that's the sort of. Um, speedometer and revometer as well which I think is quite a little touch especially if you're in sports mode um, keep going along dashboard and then you can go to cross down to your application so 
like an iPhone or an Android tablet, you can download pretty much any app on here. And so YouTube, Spotify, I listen to Spotify most of all, Apple Music, um, Amazon Prime, Netflix, uh, some of the ODB readers as well if you want to do some more sort of um, uh, talk or the rest of it and go from that aspect. And Easy Connect so you can mirror the phone to the, to the car as well, so you pretty much can do anything. I've also added, uh, if I click this button down here, a reverse camera as well which has the sensors on the side to it uh, it's a big car I think I, I was mad it didn't come with a, a reversing camera so I just added that in there um, just for use as well but it, it, it was an extra £50 with this, the um, the head unit so I definitely wanted to add that through you've got painted sports comfort and um, uh, normal I think um, settings on as well you've got your truck in the BMW official air freshener as well which smells lovely but then I'll also show you the. If you hold down the menu button, it flicks back to the original iDrive settings of the um, the vehicle. So within this, you have got um, the vehicle status as well, which is showing all the service history and um, uh, everything like that. So I'm, I might, this has been serviced by main dealer since I've owned the car. So all the different services, including brakes and all the different modifications, have been added by. Um, uh, a main service dealer, main BMW service dealer, which means they've updated the iDrive as well with the, the service requirements, not just the logbook, which is brilliant. So you've got the front brakes, next rear brakes, engine oil, vehicle check, all the rest of it. Um, I think they're on 3,200 miles to the next uh, front brakes that need doing, according to my iDrive, which is great. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Any other questions, please let me know. Thank you.